Today's game is being played in Newsom Stadium, home of the Nashville Lycans. A lot of great music clubs in Nashville, Bricks. Yeah, I went to a uh, country star Darth Crooks' place last night. It was like half dead. It was only 9 o'clock. It's a zombie joint, you idiot. Of course it was half dead. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pink flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally crapping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Second down and five. <laughs> he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And he made a mistake there, throwing in a towel. And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Just one of them. Oh, that don't make it any less scary. <laughs> now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a big night smoker. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. The <laughs> quarterback is heading up and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And he's off to the races. Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? He took a beat boost injection. Now and he runs it in for the touchdown. And here comes the extra 
three-point attempt. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch? I know how to said never hit a man when he's down. He's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. Crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. And they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? Second down, the side defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Good night, Irene. You ever get hit in the face with a shovel, Graham? I have. And trust me, the hit that guy just took was worse. And it's first and ten. for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. And another interception. He's not going down. He could go all the way. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits 
of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Wham! <laughs> First and ten. And he's off to the races. It's a touchdown. Man, those bones can boogie. The lack of muscle, fat, organs, and skin really makes it easy for him to dance. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. You ever get hit? Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. Second down in inches. First down. And it's first and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. That is why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Give this guy a few catches. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> the offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Oh. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without knowing. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. First down and one. And 
this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about 10 on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. He refuses to go down, and that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Third down and three. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and two. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's hit the and one saver there. First and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. You can't keep a good mutant down. Oh, great boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and oh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? First down and six. of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. The kick is good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Wow, with the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref.
first down in a mile. The runner pulls out a chainsaw. <laughs> Second down in a mile. This is your brain, and this is at this rate the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> Seriously, man, you think you can go toe to toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Second down in a very lot. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. That is such bullshit. This game is fucking rigged. I tell you, the programmers are speeding up the defense. I'm going to write an email to that fucker. First down and one. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Oh. Oh. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. The 30. Here comes the defense. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And it's first and ten. 
Touchdown and change the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. First down and one. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get... Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grant. You're right. wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Uh, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled the name. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to hit more risk. This guy's in a brick Boom! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point in the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. And he was stuck to him like glue. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Pump return. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the eye. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Okay, back you. Come on, get on the up, get on up. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Running back. If they lose him, 
They lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... Oh, nice hit! And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender lays down a wicked hit and knocks the ball loose. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, geez, here it comes. Blah. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Third down and long. Uh, come on, man. You got to catch that. I don't catch anything, Grim. I'm retired. Ballsy? Stupid, maybe? I guess we'll decide after we see how this goes. But probably stupid. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. Don't do anything stupid. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. You know this berserk dirty trick And with another pick, the QB says, oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. <laughs> Oh. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And that's how you run the football. First down. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Chris? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way! was totally uncalled for and that's why we love the MFL <laughs> and it's first and ten <laughs> First and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Oh, man, he really wants it. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's leaving a wake of the 
destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. I will kill him. I will kill him. I'll kill him. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And he just, and he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. should be able to make this one. But will this kid can make it? Find out next time on NFL game day. Uh, NFL... It and it looked like the QB's fault. If he held the ball spikes out like he was supposed to, the kicker would have never missed. And it's first and ten. Oh. up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. Second and one.
few mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for him. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why I'm at. This guy's a Brick shithouse. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Ben, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. He's got a receiver breaking up. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. <laughs> First and ten. And he breaks away. Second down and more than the QB would like. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Talk for the first down. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Huh? Boom, get him down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. The National Lycans eat the opposition for lunch and win by forfeit. Speaking of lunch, it's almost dinner now and a Chinese guy still has a delivery on lunch. Huh? There's not much left of the opposition and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you mind? shut the hell up right now and we go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say? <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not.